Hi guys! This is day 9 of 13 nights of Halloween baking. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a really easy cake that does not require a lot of time. I will show you how to make a ghost cake. So last year, I showed you how to make ghost cupcakes out of fondant, and I think those will go perfect with this cake. I'll post a link down below, or you guys can click on the picture here. So like I said, this cake is super easy to make. To make this, you will need this Wonder Mold Kit Pan that you can buy at Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby. I'll post a link down below for it as well. So usually, this pan is used to make doll cakes, but for the purpose of this video, we will be making a ghost cake. I think it's super awesome that you can use pans for different purposes. So anywho, before baking the cake, you first want to spray the pan with baking spray, and then pour in your cake batter. I made a chocolate cake that calls for a 13 by 9 inch pan or two 9 inch round pans. If you want to make the cake taller, you can bake another cake in a 9 inch round pan. But even though it may not look like it, it is a lot of cake so I chose not to. Then bake your cake and I baked mine for about an hour. Then let the cake cool down completely before doing anything else. Once your cake is completely cooled, place your cake on a small round cake board. Then start frosting the cake with whatever frosting you wish, preferably a white color frosting like vanilla buttercream or cream cheese frosting. Then take white fondant and roll it out to about 1 4th inch thickness. You want to roll enough fondant to cover the cake. Then gently drape the fondant right on top. Don't worry if the fondant is not perfect. Then trim off some unnecessary fondant around the cake, especially if it's not on the cake board. You want to leave some of the fondant around the cake and make it look drapey on the bottom. Just work with it until you like how it looks. If you are satisfied with the way the cake looks so far, we have to do the last step and that is to draw the face. You can draw the face really however you want, but I'm sticking with the traditional two oval eyes and then the O mouth. To draw the face, I use edible black marker. You can use black fondant for this step if you want. And that's it. Super easy, right? If you guys make this cake or the cupcakes, take a picture and tag me and use the hashtag 13 nights of Halloween baking on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see your creations. Also, if you have not seen any of my other videos yet, make sure to do so. Also, come back tomorrow for yet another Halloween themed video. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.